Welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Today's episode, Conspiracy X. Another Eden Studios product. I'm a big fan of Eden Studios' work. This uses the Unis system, but it uses full Unis system like you see in All Flesh Must Be Eaten, Terra Primate, Witchcraft, and Armageddon. Not cinematic that you see in some of their cousin games. This is actually the second edition of this game. The original launch had its own engine and was actually very well supported. This is more of an X-Files role-playing game than other conspiracy games like Dark Conspiracy or Delta Green Art. This basically builds its own mythology based on certain modernly accepted conspiracies of the Greys, this ancient people that live on Earth that control everything, and Saurian aliens. This, you all, like a lot of other conspiracy games, you actually play government agents and build up from there. You have the pulling strings mechanic, which is really what makes Conspiracy X interesting. What the pulling strings mechanic does is, ironically, using willpower and bureaucracy, which sounds dangerously like magic in most of the other Eden Studios lines, you can get certain events to happen, like arrest warrants, wiretaps. You can, if you have good enough skills at these, even call down like orbital weapon strikes if such things exist. Do they really exist? I can't tell you or I'd have to kill you. This game... You know, honestly, it does invite comparisons to games like uh, Delta Green and Dark Conspiracy, but it really stands on its own very nicely. It builds, like I said, it builds its own mythology. It has sort of, it brings together a lot of things that the other Eden Studios games have. The martial arts rules are in here, and they work very nicely. The There are certain psychic powers that are in here. Magic is there, but it can hurt you, unlike in a lot of other of the magic sorts of games that are out there. There's alien technology for you to have. In this, you work for a conspiracy within the government that's been around for a while called Aegis. Almost all the conspiracies in the government that deal with aliens trace their way back to Roswell. Their, your arch nemesis is another group that used to be part of the same organization but split off. It's a good game. It is... I hesitate to call it full cinematic. It's more it's cinematic, but it's film noir in that you can do a lot of stuff and there's adventure, but it's also really easy to get killed. This doesn't bring with it the drama point mechanic that games like Buffy and Angel do. I like this game quite a bit. I think the thing it lacks right now is I don't get a clear picture for what this game is supposed to be about. I have trouble... There's so much there I have trouble focusing on any one thing that the game is supposed to be about. I think it's great. I think it's a great implementation of the unit system. I think the pulling strings mechanic is awesome. I think that there's a lot here. I think further supplements are going to help with that. There's an extraterrestrial so- source book that's going to really help flesh out that part of it. There is a paranormal source book. There's a conspiracy. That's the, all these are coming out that I think are really going to do well into bringing this probably more into focus for someone like me who for some reason just has a tr- has trouble really knowing exactly what to do with this. One of these games that it's great, I love it, I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do with it. So bearing that in mind, I, if you like conspiracy games with a sort of hint of modern urban tech, modern urban fantasy or more modern science fiction, this is a game that you should really consider getting. It's new, it should be easy to get out, it should be easy to get your hands on and play. I think it's good, and it really blends in nicely with the rest of the Unisystem line. So you could have zombies in your spy game, you could have modern witchcraft, you could have the children of gods running around, or even intelligent apes if that's your thing. So, if you have any questions or comments, other games you'd like to see us review, please feel free to contact me at knweagle at yahoo.com. For Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Good night and good gaming.